I was going to make a tutorial on random numbers, but random numbers is so simple, we're going to actually make a number guessing game. So to get a random number, first you write RAND, and then in parentheses, one, like let's say 1 to 5, that gives us a random number 1 to 5. Or let's say 4 to 12, it's random number 4 to 12. Um, but if you write RAND ENT, this is under math probability, in case you're wondering on your calculator. Um, you press the math button and go over to probability. But rand int, this will give us a random whole number. This is kind of what we want. So for a guessing game, the first thing we're going to write is, um, we're going to first, um, we're going to, I'm also going to show you another thing, labels. Labels, you label something like label A, and I say go to A and it'll jump to label A, that line in code. So I'm going to show you how to make a basic number guessing game. So first we're going to um, get a random number. Let's say, um, to do this we're going to say um, rand int 1 to 100 and I'm going to whoops, that was from the last tutorial. Um, I want to store that into, let's just use the variable n for number. Now let's say label a, because our game's going to be inside this loop right here. And I want to also say label b, because that's how we're going to jump out the loop. What we're going to do is we're going to say, um, when the game starts, we're going to clear home, and then we're going to say, disk enter or let's just say guess and then we're going to say input g we'll just use g for your guess and then we're going to say if um g is le if your guess g is less than the number then um display too low and then pause and then go to A so it's going to restart the game. We don't have to write or yeah go to A because then it's going to restart the game and then end. So we don't really need this go to down here. Um, then we're going to say if G is greater than the number then display to high pause go to a end if g equals n meaning you've guessed the right number then display correct and then end we don't really need to tell it to jump back to, uh, or to jump down to label b because um, it, when this function, when this if statement ends, it's just going to end. So if we go go to run through this real quick, first it gets a random number, and then it we create a label A. Then it clears the screen and asks us to guess. And then if our guess is lower than the random number, it's going to say too low, and then it's going to pause, and then jump back up to here. It means it's going to restart the game. If it's too high, it's going to say too high and jump up to here. If it's equal, it's going to say correct and um then the code really is just going to end. So let's save this. Load file. Now it's going to say guess. I want to say 4. It's going to say too low. I press enter and it's going to let me guess again. Say 23. Too high. Um, 20. Emulator is really slow. So 20 was too high. Let's say 10. 10 is also too high. 7. 7 is too high. 6. too high. 5. Correct. See, I got the number right. 
and then the, now the now it ends. Now I can start the game again by simply um, clicking program and then execute hello. And now I can start again. Let's say 20. It's too low. 40. Too high. 30. Too low. 35. Too high. 33. Too low. So it's 34. Correct. And there you go. A random number guessing game. Works just fine.